Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video of the whole haul trade, um, I just want to say that this video is not made for kids. My videos are for adults only. Anyone under the age of 13, please do not watch this video. This relates to the whole COPPA regulation. My sincerest apologies. And let's get into the video. Um, just want to talk about the haul trade. And um, yeah, it was one of those things that all of us Devil fans were looking forward to for a very long time. And um, you know, the return is a bit of unknown. You know, we don't know a lot about these players. I don't know anything about them. You know, I just know that they were really high on this ball kid. And uh, they were trying to get that first, which they did. And um, they got that at least, so that's good. But um, the other prospects, I don't know too much about. And as far as I know, I, they could turn out to be AHL bus. But, um, you know, let's talk a little bit about them. You know, um... The trade actually was Taylor Hall and Blake Spears. They were traded to the Arizona Coyotes for forwards Nick Merkley, Nate Schnarr, defenseman Kevin Ball, a 2020 first round pick, which is a conditional that if um, Arizona does win one of those three top lottery spots in the, um, in the 2020 draft, then we would get the first round pick for the next draft. And also there is a conditional 2021 third round pick that becomes a second if Arizona wins a playoff round this year, and it could become a first if they win a playoff round and Taylor Hall resigns. And with this trade, New Jersey does retain 50% uh, of the salary. And let's talk about some of these prospects that are mentioned in the trade. Ball is 19. He's a big dude. He's 6'7", 230 plus pounds. In 28 games this year, he scored 5 goals, 15 assists, 20 points. Last year, he had six goals, 28 assists, 34 points in 68 games. He was a second-round pick in the 2018 draft, and he's a third-ranked prospect. And um, he was a sticking point in this whole trade, uh, especially coming back from this past Saturday. Um, he was a sticking point. I don't think they wanted to include him in this. But, you know, we, we I don't know why we couldn't get Hayden or Soderstrom in this deal. At least one of them, but, you know... The Coyotes got to hold on to their top two prospects, and we got their third and fourth. So, um, they're saying a lot about this guy. You know, he was drafted as a big body defensive defenseman, and the last couple of years, he has been improving his game playing for the Ottawa 67s. He's becoming more of a mobile defenseman while still concentrating on his physical game, and he's become a highly touted defensive prospect, and, um... You know, they're projecting him to be anywhere from a four, five, six kind of defenseman. Nothing in the top three, but he'll help out the bottom pairing of a defensive lineup. So it's something to look forward to possibly with him. I think he'll make an NHL roster, hopefully ours. Um, I think it may take a little time, but we'll see. Um, the next one's Merkley. Um, he's 22. He's a 5'10", 195-pound center. This year has three goals, 13 assists, 16 points in 26 games. Last year, he had 10 goals, 24 assists, 34 points in 45 games. He was their first-round pick in the 30th overall in the 2015 draft, and he's their fourth-best-ranked uh, prospect. And um, Schnarr, he's 20. He's 6'3", 180-pound center. This year, he has one goal, eight assists, nine points in 22 games. He's a third-round pick in the 75th overall in the 2017 draft. And um, his best year was in 2017 when he had 102 points. Uh, 34 goals, 68 assists. So, um, you know, it's kind of a little bit of background on these players. I don't, again, I don't know too much about them. When I saw their names pop up on the breaking trade list, I'm like, what? You know, we, I, I, I am honestly bummed out about this trade. I also understand the realistic aspect of it that Hall was a rental in this whole thing. You know, they weren't negotiating any long-term deal with the team he was getting traded to, so he was strictly a rental. And Shiro got a lot for a rental. So I like that part of it. The thing I was kind of banking on was getting possibly one of one of their two top prospects in Hayden or Soderstrom. Because those guys are highly touted. Um, one of them would have looked nice in a devil sweater. Or maybe a prospect player. I mean, a player in their lineup to help out this team now. And I'm not thinking any of their big names. I'm thinking kind of like a Christian Dvorak or a Garland to... You know, come into this lineup to be like, okay, he's a decent player they got in return for, for Hall. But, um, 
you know, I kind of knew Spears wasn't going to crack this lineup anytime soon. I kind of had a feeling he was going to be packaged in something sometime sooner or just let go. And Hall, we all knew he was getting traded, but, um, you know, to hold, hold him out Friday and to hold him out Saturday, to spend all day Sunday and then watch the news today break and you see this trade, you just, you get bummed out about it. You really do. But then you understand that, um, Shiro was kind of up against the wall. There was a lot of teams kind of backing out. Colorado backed out. Florida backed out today, saying that they didn't want to spend because it was it was too much for a rental. They said if the price dropped, they'd come back in. So my thinking is, would Shiro have gotten more if he waited closer to the deadline? Um, teams sometimes pay more because they really want that help for the playoffs. So um, you know, it's that's an, an unknown too. You don't know if Taylor Hall would have played a couple more games, been inserted back in our lineup, and gotten hurt, and we would have gotten him for nothing. So you're playing with fire when you kind of have one of these players in your team where you kind you definitely want to move them to get some assets back, and you don't want to risk them getting injured. So, you know, I know he's a rental. I know Shiro got a good amount back for him, but the, all these guys that we got are really unknowns besides those first-round picks. At least those you can actually go out and get whatever you want. But, um, you know, they wanted ball, they got him. They wanted the first-round pick, they got it. They got an additional pick. At least it's at least as of now, it's a third-round pick. And I think it, it could at least turn into a second-round pick. I think um, Arizona's got a good team. Right now, they're leading the Pacific, so they're having a good year. You know, and they need that offensive punch, so that's why they went out and got Hall. So I think that could at least turn into a second-round pick, as I think the uh, the, the Phoenix... Arizona can win a round in the playoffs, so I think it would turn into definitely a second round pick, at least. And Hall resigning, I don't know. You know, it's going to come down to the summer, July first. He's going to he's going to test free agency, and if they go far enough, he may like it there. You know, a lot of people do like Arizona once they start playing for that team. A lot of people like playing for Tockett, and they got a good team. So who knows? And they got a lot of prospects down the down the road. So maybe he may sign there long term. Who knows? But, um, you know, I'm looking at it at it as, as a Devil fan. I wasn't impressed with the trade, but then I kind of thought about it. You know, getting five pieces for a rental is pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say. I just, you know, I know what Devils fans are thinking right now because I'm thinking the same way. You know, you want more in this trade. You've been waiting for him to get traded for the longest time, and... Um, you know, you see when this trade breaks and you don't recognize any names and it's just, it's hard to fathom that we lost an MVP caliber player for this return. But, you know, think of it on the bright side. At least we get some assets to maybe, maybe they might turn out to be great in our system and then it turns into a steal on our end. Who knows? So, um, you know, Devil fans just, I don't know, I guess the, the whole thing is over now. We don't have to worry about it. Now we can concentrate on whatever happens the rest of the year. I'm not banking on the best of years. You know, we're going to probably see more of McLeod and other Binghamton players coming up, which is a good thing. See what we have in our system. And, um, you know, we're going to unload some players soon, get some more assets. And, um, you know, maybe they could turn around whatever they got now. They flip it towards the towards uh, the draft and flip it for an actual player. You know, they could always trade the later, round, the later first round pick and get a player in return, a good player. So... That can also happen as well. So there's a lot of things they can do with what they got today. So um, think of the positives of this. I know it's hard. I know a lot of people are calling for Shiro's head. But um, honestly, we if you're trading him as a rental, you're not going to get anything good that good back for him. And I think Shiro got the best thing he can get back for him, which is a lot of volume, a lot of different options of these players can work out. Ball can be a good defensive player that we strongly need on this team. We need a big body to clear out the front of the net. We don't have that. Even coming up in the pipeline, we don't have that many big defensemen. So that's that's a good positive. You know, Merkley is said to be a good a good center, right shot center. I think he could play the right right wing too. So that may help us out. Um, I don't know too much too much about Schnarr. I mean, he had a good year in the OHL, but I don't know how that sometimes that doesn't really relate to. NHL, you know, look at Blandizi. We all thought he was going to be the next coming superstar for us because he piled up all these points right behind Connor McDavid. But then once he got into NHL, he really didn't produce that level. So, you know, you get unknowns at this point, and hopefully they 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 break through. So, um, you know, we'll see in due time. But um, 
you know, that whole whole situation's over. Um, sucks to lose him, but, you know, at least there's a lot of things we can look forward to is accruing assets and some free agents this year we can sign with having more of that cap space open. So, um, you know, we'll see. You know, always think of the bright side, Devils fans. I know this has been a long time coming, a long rebuild, but um, we'll get there one day. We will. We'll have one of those good, good teams again like we did in the past. You know, I, I think with the right coach and the right players coming into this team, I think we can do something. And I'm holding out for that in the coming years. So, um, all right. Thank you all for watching. Please um, have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care.